Hey family, welcome back to Dose by Marquita. Today is day 10 of the Proverbs 31 Day Challenge. And I had a dream last night and it was about a church that was like uprooted and moved. Like we physically, or somebody, I don't know who, but they physically just dug up the whole building, put it on like a truck or something. And everybody was like inside the house as if, I mean, inside the building as if it was you know, already standing. They weren't like bracing themselves enough and they was just going about their business, but it was like the whole church was just being moved. So like I said before, if you can interpret my dreams, then let me know. But today is um, topic is called um, Solomon's Wise Sayings and that's verses one through 32. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the scripture. Here are some Proverbs of Solomon. And um, also, I want to back up. This is the um, CEV version that I'm reading out of. You can read whatever version is best for you, but I use CEV version. So, Solomon's wise sayings. Here are some proverbs of Solomon. Children with good sense make their parents happy, but foolish children make them sad. What you gain by doing evil won't help you at all. Obeying God is the only way to be saved from death. If you obey the Lord, you won't go hungry. If you are wicked, God won't let you have what you want. Laziness leads to poverty. Hard work makes you rich. At harvest season, it's smart to work hard, but stupid to sleep. Everyone praises good people, but evil hides behind the words of the wicked. Good people are remembered long after they are gone, but the wicked are soon forgotten. If you have good sense, you will listen and obey. If all you do is talk foolishly, you will destroy yourself. You will be safe if you always do right, but you will get caught if you are dishonest. Deceit causes trouble and foolish talk will bring you to ruin. The words of good people are a source of life, but evil hides behind the words of the wicked. Hatred stirs up trouble. Love overlooks the wrongs that others do. If you have good sense, it will show when you speak. But if you are stupid, you will be beaten with a stick. If you have good sense, you will learn all you can, but foolish talk will soon destroy you. Great wealth can be a fortress, but poverty is no protection at all. If you live right, the reward is a good life. If you are evil, all you have is sin. Accept correction and you will find life. Reject correction and you will miss the road. You can hide your hatred by telling lies, but you are a fool to spread lies. You will say the wrong thing if you talk too much. So be sensible and watch what you say. The words of a good person are like pure silver, but the thoughts of an evil person are almost worthless. Many are helped but, use, but useful instruction. No, many are helped by useful instruction, but fools are killed by their own stupidity. When the Lord blesses you with riches, you have nothing to regret. Fools enjoy doing wrong but anyone who, with good sense enjoys acting wisely. What evil people dread most will happen to them, but good people will get what they want most. Those crooks will disappear when a storm strikes, but God will keep safe all who obey him. Having a lazy person on the job is like a mouthful of vinegar or smoke in your eyes. If you respect the Lord, you will live longer. If you keep doing wrong, your life will be cut short. If you obey the Lord, you will be happy, but there is no future for the wicked. The Lord protects everyone who lives right, but he destroys anyone who does wrong. Good people will stand firm, but the wicked will disappear from the land. Honest people speak sensibly, but deceitful liars will be silenced. If you obey the Lord, you will always know the right thing to say, but no one will trust you if you tell lies. So that's Proverbs 10. Um, read the word, meditate on it, read it over and over again so you can get it into your spirit. I'm going to go ahead and close out with a word of prayer. Father God, we love you. We thank you for this beautiful day of life. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and kindness, Father God. Thank you for keeping us and, and giving us the ability to experience another day. Um, I just ask that you help us uh, with these things that we may be struggling with in our individual lives, Father God. Help us to channel our focus and to focus on you and not our problems because you are way bigger than our problems, Father God. They are minuscule compared to you. You are the author of life. And just like this, in, in this word, there's hope for people who live right. We have riches. We have everything that we need if we're living right. 
But Father God, we just thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for just keeping us in spite of us, Father God, and loving us in spite of us. Father God, we honor you, we love you, and we put you first over anything. No, we have no idols, Father God. There is no one or nothing that comes before you. But we love you and we thank you for grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow, Lord willing. <laughs>